Okay, I seriously need to have like a moment of reckoning with this kimono. I love it so much. It's a great brand, Soft Surroundings. And look at this beautiful fall um, color print, but I never wear it. I put it on and I don't ever end up wearing it. So this is one of these challenge pieces. Do you guys have this where it's like either wear it or it goes? So I'm gonna put this on my like, wear it in the next week. And if you don't, it's going. Someone else would totally enjoy it. Hey friends, it's Quinby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube, and today I'm taking you into one of my favorite places in the world, my closet. No, not my Poshmark closet, my actual personal closet. I love clothing and I've got a ton of new stuff. I'm filming this in October 2020, so we're moving into the fall season. I've got some great new fall sweaters and things that I want to move in. But the other day when I went into my closet, you guys, I had no more hangers and no more space. And it's like, Quinby, enough. Time to clean it out. Fortunately for me, I'm a part-time reseller, so I sell clothes on eBay and Poshmark online. And so when I clean out, I can just move those things into my inventory for my business and I get to move lots of fun new stuff in. So in this video, I'm going to show you what my closet looks like. We are gonna go through things and I'm gonna try them on and decide what to keep and what to get rid of. You know that I love to go thrift store shopping. I love to buy wholesale boxes from places like Joe Mar, b and Trading. Um, I love Thread Up Rescue Boxes. So I'm constantly getting a new influx of clothes and I keep some of the stuff. And it's really important to not be hoarding clothes in our closets, right? So I like to move things through. So come with me into my closet. Let's see how we do with this closet clean out and try on major extreme closet clean up thing. Okay, friends, here we are in my personal closet. And I know right away, some of you are going to be looking at my closet and thinking, friend, that's not even that much. You should see my closet. I have way more in my closet. And some of you are going to look at this and think, oh my gosh, friend, I am so glad you're doing a closet clean out because that's a lot of stuff. So that said, let's go through. I'll show you some of my favorite pieces in here anyway that I know I'm not getting rid of and some stuff that I'm ready to pass along. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little overwhelming. I have a lot of stuff in here. I should tell you, I live in Northern California. Um, we still have seasons here, but they're not as dramatic as some places. So I don't have to clean out and have a separate winter closet. Like when I used to live in Boston, it was like, I'd pull tubs of winter stuff out in the winter and I'd put all my summer away. I don't have to do that. I can leave mixed seasons in here, so that's helpful. But I know there's stuff in here that I love, but I'm not really wearing. And so it's time to find that stuff a new home. Okay, so here is the white section. I love white and ivory and I just have tons of it. I do wear it all the time. So I'm only selectively gonna get rid of this white stuff, but um, I just love it.
So friends, one of the things I'm noticing is that my closet is just so disorganized. So many clothes are off the hanger, on a missized hanger, and then I want to put things into sections like sweaters and layering pieces I want all together. I do keep my tops um, somewhat according to color. Um, so I want to coordinate the closet and organize my closet a little bit better like that, which is going to take some time and some work, but I think it'll be worth it. Okay, I seriously need to have like a moment of reckoning with this kimono. I love it so much. It's a great brand, Soft Surroundings. And look at this beautiful fall um, color print, but I never wear it. I put it on and I don't ever end up wearing it. So this is one of these challenge pieces. Do you guys have this where it's like either wear it or it goes. So I'm going to put this on my like wear it in the next week. And if you don't, it's going. Someone else would totally enjoy it. I love this free people top with the peplum hem and it's black. So it's such a great uh, basic, but again, I never wear it. So I'm going to try it on in the try on part and just let you guys know like, okay, it just maybe doesn't work for me and someone else would love it. I have a pretty big pile here started for like the try on either keep or get rid of. So ladies, let's get real here for a minute. Do you guys have that stuff in your closet? That is if you lose 10 pounds again, stuff. I mean, some of that I really should keep because to be honest, I fluctuate between like a 10 and 12. So I do have stuff like that. I have a whole collection of these free people waffle thermals with the amazing cuffs, but it's like, I haven't worn this in like a couple years. When I was doing super low carb keto stuff strictly, I could fit into all these, but they're really not flattering on me um, at the weight I'm at now. So it's like, do I hold on to these or not? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I could really use your help. I mean, I love these, but they're just sitting there not worn and someone else might like really love to wear this. I forget what this one's called. They all have names, but check that out. Amazing. Free people, free people, free people, free people. Oops, see everything falls off the hanger. So. I love this kimono. This kimono is only forever 21. But I just always really loved it. Free people. Oh, see, I forgot about this one. I love this red, bright red top. With the amazing sleeves. Love it. And Dean Fisher. Okay, I'm doing a good job. Quimby, you're doing a good job, but it's like... Okay, I know on some level I'm doing a good job with this, but it is seriously overwhelming. This could take me all day. Like, I'm definitely going to have to use the speed up film thingy because this is like a huge project <laughs> okay friends what is your opinion on the bodysuit I mean I love the way they look and they can really like if you're doing a high-waisted jean and you don't have to worry about tucking and untucking this is a white free people uh bodysuit but the thing about the bodysuit is every time you have to use the bathroom you have to get practically naked I mean they're really not um like user friendly. So let me know in the comments, yay or nay on the bodysuit. These are the most gorgeous fry boots. That's the logo there. And fry boots, depending on the style, can retail, you know, between like 150 and 350 dollars. The thing about these is it's the softest butter leather, you guys, and they they're scrunchy. So um, you put them on and then they scrunch down like over your skinny jeans. I got these for $12.99 at a thrift store and it was at the Goodwill and I was like, no way. Absolutely love them. What's one of your best um, thrift store finds? Friends, I totally love these lightweight denim chambray tops. I have them. I have several of them in my closet and I just got a couple new ones. I'll show you a pile of some new things I'm really excited to bring into my closet, but these are like such good basics for work, casual, whatever. Friends, I wanted to show you just a few of the things that I'm excited to bring into my closet, kind of what inspired me to do the closet clean out in the first place because I wanna make room for some new things that have come in. Let me show you. So this is an Ann Taylor Loft super lightweight sweater with a knotted front. I got that in a thread up rescue box and I just love it. 
I love ordering fed up rescue boxes for myself and for my online reselling business. This is another cream chunky knit sweater, but I love this one because it's kind of oversized, but then it has a fitted sleeve. And the brand on this is Brass. I just love that look of a chunky ivory sweater with jeans. It's so perfect for going to the pumpkin patch or going out like for a casual drink or something. Again, I love my denim chambray tops. This one is Styling Co, but I just love the, um, this one is a button down, but it has like this western print on the back and just a few details on the front these are so great just like layered over a t-shirt or anything in california we have to do a lot of layering yes another free people piece i know but i love these so much this thermal is much bigger and it's got like they call it the aztec sleeve i love a special sleeve i love a ruffle shoulder i love a balloon sleeve a sheared sleeve look at this goodness so definitely want to make space for that piece in my closet and now of course i'm embarrassed to show you this because it's yet another denim chambray top this one's styling co too it's so funny but look totally embroidered i love a boho embroidery top um and I got this with my mom out thrifting. It was only $4. And look at the lace-up detail on the back. Like, this, to me, is just, like, so perfect, friends. Like, you just throw this on. You can go anywhere. And look how cute with the embroidery. I mean, I just love these. I often will unbutton this, kind of roll it up. So, um, yes, I'm definitely a boho girl. <laughs> And I also love like an ivory beige cream uh, crochet knit sweater. This one is Little Yellow Bird from Anthropology. I have a few of them. So I'm so glad that fall, winter 2020 are showing um, a lot of these like ivory chunky sweaters. They look so great with a pair of like dark jeans and some boots. You could layer on one of those, a jean jacket or one of those olive green like military jackets. They're just like so versatile. I love the hemline on this one too. Okay, so <laughs> I know this is probably bad because these sweaters are so similar. They're both free people. This is a cropped sweater with a tie waist and it has these little baubles. So fun. And this is a cropped sweater, but it's almost like a sleeveless vest sweater. So I get to keep them both, right? Because they're similar but different. So everyone needs at least one long owl top in their wardrobe, right? So here is the big pile of tops that I'm cleaning out of my closet to resell on Poshmark or eBay. I'm feeling proud of myself. I feel like I got a good number of things out of my closet. I'm gonna try them on for you. This is a Lucky brand silk top. I've had it for a little while, I've worn it, and here is the Free People peplum top. I just don't think I like this look on me. What do you guys think? I love this brand, Beyond Yoga, and it does resell on Poshmark and eBay well, but another piece that I'm just not wearing, so I'm going to pass it along. This is an Anthropology Diletta blouse. It's going to Okay friends, now on to the dresses. I know this is gonna be the most challenging for me because I love dresses. I have a collection of free people dresses and other boho dresses. I go to Mexico once a year and I get to wear a different fun print dress to dinner every night. I just love dresses, but I have too many dresses. It's time to move some along. So let's go through that section. Okay, let's go through the dresses and decide what is going and what is staying. Free People Purple Dress is going. I love this Free People Dress, so that is definitely staying with me. Black Silk Dress, perfect for any occasion, is staying. But this romper with the crochet trim, that's gonna go. One of my favorite black free people tunic dresses is staying with me. And this brand cut loose is really expensive. That'll sell well, but I haven't worn it in so long. My free people trapeze dresses in every color and pattern are staying, but that free people sundress is going. 
free people sequin cocktail dress I've only worn it once or twice so I'm gonna keep that one a little bit longer so I think I will resell this one on eBay or Poshmark it's a cloth and stone romper that I got at a TJ Maxx yellow tag sale I have those videos on the channel from the TJ Maxx yellow tag sale you can get great deals and these are some of my favorite like Mexico dresses on a warm night when we go out to the to the parties at the resort these are really fun like long printed dresses i love them not ready to get rid of these babies yet these are two pairs of linen pants i live in northern california linen rules i can wear it all year round but i'm not wearing either of these so i'm going to try these on and see if it's time to just pass them along or if i need to start wearing them Okay, I just found two dresses mixed in with my blazers that I totally forgot about and haven't even had a chance to wear. This one is like a drop waist. It's by Tiny from Anthropology. I wore it for one video, but I don't think I've ever worn it out. And this is a free people. Um, it's a lightweight um, plaid one with like a ruffle hem, but I've never worn it. Probably it's been too warm in the summer, but this would transition really well into the fall. Hi. Why do I have all these teeny tiny baby hangers in my closet? Like this is for like my son Torvald's shirt. Like wh why am I trying to hang things on here? And this is a new with tags free people dress that I got for the summer. But then of course, due to COVID and everything, I never got to wear it. It's so cute. So I'm going to hang this up and hope I can find an opportunity to wear this somewhere soon. And here are my piles of things that I'm getting rid of or reorganizing in my closet. I have at least like 10 tops that I'm gonna resell on Poshmark and some dresses and pants. I definitely need to do a phase two of closet clean out. Friends, do I look as wiped out as I feel? I do, <laughs> I do. I've been in my closet for over two hours. I got through tops, dresses, sweaters, cardigans, and a, some of the pants. I still have a lot of work to do. Let me know if you're interested and I will make a part two video. I have so much more to go through shoes, boots, more casual pants and tops, but I feel so good about this. I just feel better being in a clearer space in my closet and having it organized. And it got me really inspired because I found several sweaters and dresses and tops that I'd kind of forgot about, didn't even know I have. And it gets me a little excited for fall to try out my sweaters and things. So let me know in the video what you think. I'd love to hear from you and thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video, friends. Bye for now.